Hello everybody. Today I am going to show you. Oops, fell through the world. Today I am going to show you how to create a uh, graphical uh, sort of stylized health bar, as you can see in the bottom right there. Uh, this is a um, well, a regenerating health bar. We won't probably talk about how to create regenerating health, but we will talk about how to create a health bar, and uh, I'll uh, let you figure out the the rest. There's some additional tutorials for how to create regenerating stamina, but as you can see in the bottom right there, I have a graphical health bar that refills uh, based on you know, based on what the player's health is. Now, you probably already have a character health variable. If you don't, you will need to create a character health variable. Current health, health and maximum health are the two variables that we need. They, we are going to divide these against each other to create uh, the percentage at which a health bar is is full. Um, so basically, if you head on over to your your player HUD, uh, basically if you haven't created a HUD yet, you can just right click somewhere and then go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. Uh, once you've got your wizard widget blueprint, it will look something like this, although it won't have the graphical elements, it'll just be empty. And what you can start out by doing is just dragging in a progress bar. Now this is your health bar, right? So we'll, we'll make this into a square for the moment, um, just so we can, I can show you how it works. And then from here you'll want to scroll down until you find, uh, let's say, the fill and opacity color. For example, we can just set this to red temporarily, or, or let's say bright pink in this case. Um, we won't keep it like that, but just to show you how this works. The next thing you're going to want to do is create a binding. Okay, so right now I've got a few bindings already created, and I'll actually just jump into one of those bindings. So for example, uh, I might assign this to binding get percent zero or whatever. This is just what my function is called. But when you create a new binding, it will jump you into the uh, event graph, or graph, graph, uh, graph uh, display, and uh, it'll show you basically something like this. Uh, what you'll want to punch in are your current health and your maximum health. And then you just need to divide those two against each other, and then the return node will get the percentage at which your health bar is full. So in my case, I'm casting to my 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 character blueprint, which is where I have my health and stat or health and max health stored. You may have yours stored somewhere else, but that's where I have my variables stored for that. And then I'm just uh, basically dividing one by the other and returning a, a percentage. So that's all there is to that. That's pretty simple. Uh, once you have done a so, actually maybe I should compile that, current health, max health. Once you've done all that, a full health bar in our particular case should look uh, bright, bright pink. <laughs> so let's jump in and see if that is indeed the case. Yep, falling through the world again. But we have got our bright pink health bar. Now if our health our current health was set to you know 50 right now or 50 percent this would show as half full i'm not going to set that up because that's not really the point of this tutorial how to take damage and apply damage or whatever but uh, just to know that that is how that how that works okay so the main point of this tutorial is uh, to show you how to handle how to do the graphical components so this is um there's plenty of tutorials for how to do the, the regenerating health and the health bar and, the, and that sort of thing on like a simple progress bar. Uh, so the tor tutorial that we're focusing on here is how to actually apply that to a graphical image. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, what you will need to do to start out is export yourself two, two layers. Uh, I've actually exported three and that's okay. I, I didn't need to export three but I could have you know, I could have done this with two because this layer is supposed to appear in that layer. Uh, but in my case, I had three layers. So I will show you um, how, how basically this would be done with two layers or three layers or whatever. So uh, one layer you will want to export is your actual health graphic. So in my case, it's this image that this is this is full, basically your full health graphic, your empty container in which the full health graphic goes into. Uh, and like I say, assuming that this was in there in my case, but in this case it's not. That's okay. I just added that for a little bit of extra effect. We, we don't actually need that part. I could just take that out, for example. Um, but here's, here's basically your, your, your method. Uh, you can go ahead and import your graphics into, your, into Unreal. 
And then once you have those graphics, you can take those graphics and basically just drag them up into your HUD. They will probably not be the right size to start. You will need to um, you, you will need to take a look at your actual image dimensions in Photoshop or something like that, and then sort of get uh, the size that you want. In my case, 300 by 256 is right about where I wanted, so I'm just taking the uh, graphics that I've done here, and I am resizing those to where I want them to be, 300 by 256, and I'm just going to do that for all of them. So I got size up, 300 by 256, and then of course for my last one we have 300 by 256, 256. Okay, so you've, I've got all of my graphics now lined up in the way I want them. The next thing we are going to want to do is decide the layer uh, order, and that is des decided under the Z order um, option right here. Uh, so for what I've got right here, I've got on my actual display here, I've got my health skull, which is uh, which is actually the uh, the health the, the, the health part, the red part, so that's my health skull right there. Uh, so I wanted that to appear as, what did I have that as? Layer, layer 1. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how your graphic will work a little bit, but you'll kind of need to shuffle these around until you have the ones appearing behind or in front of uh, whichever elements you kind of want them to display around. But very easy to do. All you need to do is select the image that you want to uh, to use and then put the order. So order 4 is further forward, order 0 is further back. So 0 will appear behind 1, 1 will be appear behind 2, and so on. And you can kind of figure out what layer order works for your particular graphic. So I have, in my case, I have the health bar appearing over top of basically the background graphic, which I unnecessarily divided into, into three graphics. You can probably get away with just two graphics if you're doing something similar. Um, and then, here's, what you're, here's, here's the part that uh, you're probably wondering about if you're watching this video, is you're wondering how to use this graphic as a progress uh, bar. Uh, so, actually pretty easy. All you need to do is, let me just show you, here's my health, health skull. So, this is my health skull, the red part that I've got selected here, and what you're going to want to do is scroll, where is it, let me just, oh, actually health progress bar, I need to select my progress bar, and, and what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the fill image. Okay, so you can have a background image if you want, but uh, the fill image is what you're, what is actually going to be the health part that uh, is more full or less full depending on the player's health percentage. So all you need to do is, is, uh, Put in your, your fill image, uh, just select the image. Uh, you'll want to probably set the alpha setting to 1, depending on what your graphic is. You might want to set it to 0.5 if you want to see some of the background. This is the alpha opacity, so you can kind of tweak that as is needed. And then, last but not least, you're also going to be looking for the, um, the, uh, the, the um, where is it? <laughs> Here it is. Just going to type in opac opacity. The last thing you're looking for is the render opacity. Uh, one means it's fully opaque. There's no transparency, and uh, something like 0.5, for example, would mean it's somewhat um, somewhat see-through. Um, so that is basically it. You have now created a progress bar, which uses an image as its as its background color. So instead of using a background color you are using an image, and uh, otherwise the sort of uh, the actual fill percentage works as it would with, with just like a regular solid color. Um, did I, yeah, you, here's the other thing I also did, uh, is the background color tint, where is it? I believe I also, can't remember now exactly, but I believe I may have also removed the opacity on the background image or color uh, because it was actually like filling up, I think, uh, the square, and I didn't want to see the color. I just wanted to see the actual image um, that I exported. Another thing you probably already know is you will want to export as transparent PNGs without a background. If they have a background, that won't really work too well, so you'll want to export these as transparent uh, PNGs. 
And uh, yeah, that's that's about all there is to it. Um, if you guys are looking for how to create the actual stamina refill system, let me know in the comments. Or sorry, health refill system. Uh, I can I can put another video together about that. But basically, I wanted to just focus on how to lay out the graphical element of a of a of a stylized health display in this video. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for somebody. All right. Oh, that's the wrong button. That is for recording game stuff. That's not the button we're looking for.